In this video, I want to discuss pattern clips and how they relate to the playlist. Pattern clips are a relatively new feature to FL Studio and can work to your advantage in composing and editing. Basically, a pattern clip is like an audio clip version of a pattern. To insert a pattern clip, you can left click in the clip track area of the playlist. You'll notice that the pattern clip doesn't contain a waveform, but rather contains a miniature version of the notes you've added in the pattern. If you've inserted step sequencer data, it will be represented by small circles. Each circle represents a step. If you have MIDI data or notes drawn out, you'll see the notes represented by small lines, just like the piano roll. If you have a combination of notes and steps, you'll see both. Now pattern clips are helpful in that you can see the notes you've entered, whereas using pattern blocks down in the lower area, you can only see the length of the pattern, but not its data. Being able to see the data will help you in making sure things are lined up how you need them to be, and when editing, you can make precise cuts on the exact notes you want. And just like we have with audio clips, you also have a menu to select options from, such as Preview, Select Pattern Source, Edit, which will bring up the piano roll if you need to make changes, as well we have Rename, Make Unique, and Select Regions if any. Now I want to be clear on this. Pattern clips are no different regarding the data that they contain than a pattern block. The only difference is how they are displayed. But you can insert a pattern clip of pattern 1 and a pattern block of pattern 1 and they will be the exact same. They are simply displayed differently. Something else to point out is that any changes you make to a pattern will be reflected on the pattern clip in the timeline. So if I go back to the pattern and add a note, when I go back to the playlist, that note will automatically be there. There is no need to reload or reinsert the pattern clip. Now, as you'll see in the editing tutorial, pattern clips will make your life a lot easier in regards to cutting and slicing. The reason for this is that before, the pattern blocks would have to be moved to the approximate place you wanted them to be if you were trying to do anything other than quantize your pattern blocks. If you were trying to move a pattern off time, you had to more or less guess and then play back over and over until you got it right where you wanted it. Now, with pattern clips, because the data is visible, it's easy and quick to just move the pattern clip to the exact spot it needs to be. Something else to point out is that the pattern clips work like the audio and automation clips in that when you add them, the last clip you inserted or clicked on will be the next one inserted. So you'll have to use the drop down menu to select a different source, either through the little arrow icon at the head of the clip or through the menu at the top of the playlist. Also, if you have any event data inserted, such as automation in the pattern, it will be displayed in the pattern clip as well. As you'll see in the next video, the automation clip is different from this. An automation clip is actually a separate clip that is only automation. The automation I'm talking about here is the event automation we discussed in the piano roll tutorial, where you can adjust some parameters in the note properties panel of the piano roll. And just like audio clips, and as you'll see, automation clips, each time you make a change to an instance, it applies to all the instances on the screen, unless you choose the Make Unique option first. The last thing to mention is the section in the top left-hand corner of the playlist. Here, we have an option to change the clip focus between automation, pattern, and audio clips. The clip focus gives us editing tools for that particular type of clip, as well as brings that particular type of clip to the front of a stack if you have clips on top of each other. Here, with the clip pattern, we have options for displaying note colors. The note group option will let us see the colors of the notes as they are in the piano roll. If you have different colors for different channels appearing, you will see them here with this option. The parent channel option will let you see the data in the color of the parent channel. You can change this color by selecting rename for the parent channel and selecting a different color from the box. Finally, the parent pattern option will keep the color a gray color. One last thing to point out, when you create a new pattern, that pattern is automatically selected as the next pattern to insert when you left click in the playlist. So if you've created pattern 1 and placed it on the playlist, and then you create pattern 2 and click the playlist, pattern 2 will be inserted, not pattern 1. Remember, your patterns can always be selected from the drop down menu, so you aren't going to lose any patterns or data by not keeping them on the playlist. They will all still be in the channel window, and you can insert any of them at any time. So that about wraps it up for the Pattern Clips video. We've seen how this versatile new tool can give us visualization options that will allow us to work faster and smarter, as well as help us to interact better with our project. 
In the next video, we'll take a look at automation clips, which is another awesome feature of FL Studio, and you'll see how the power of clips will change the way you think about digital audio forever.